Hi there, it's Shell. And today we are going to make some more ephemera, of course. And I'm just kind of making some, uh, let me show you, I've made some as samples and I thought I'd share this with you guys. But it's just a little, it's kind of like a file folder, but the tab is on this side. So this can kind of hang over to the side and like in your book, you could use this as a belly band. <clears throat> I think I need to switch this around. Put it together incorrectly there. But you can use these as belly bands or pockets, depending on how you end up decorating them. So I just kind of wanted to show you these. Sorry. <laughs> I zoomed in closer than I normally do so you know I just I'm having an issue so I was gonna see if I could find a page to just show you guys what I am talking about and you know you could put this kind of on the bottom you could round the corner make it just a tuck spot but then this is going to hang out on the other side of your book, like in the pages of your book. So if you wanted to, here's another one I made. And what I did is I typically use about five and a half inch pages. So what I did is I cut a square of these at five and a half, well, a rectangle. And the width didn't really matter to me. I just wanted it, sorry, I just wanted it a um, certain width. And then here is this one. So I want to show you how I made these. This was inspired from Pinterest because almost everything I make is inspired from Pinterest. Um, let me use my. What I wanted to, the one I saw on Pinterest, it was kind of like this, had a hole up here, and then had the little words hanging down. But, I want my words to be on the side. So I figured out that the little tab, sorry, I am going to push this back just a little bit, so that I try to stay in frame. Okay. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I figured out that it uh, the tab takes up a half an inch. So I know that I want about a five inch pocket, but if you wanted, you know, a six inch pocket or five and a half inches, then you just want to um, account for that, you know. I'm using my envelope punch board just to get a tab, and what I'm doing is I just kind of put and putting it in there and just a little bit over because I want this little piece right here and then I figured out if I kind of put this piece about the half inch the first half which would be about one and a half then it gives me a really good size I like that size you could certainly make it bigger or smaller if you wanted to and since my cutter won't, you know, cut a straight line there, I'm just going to trim it off with my scissors. So, I'm going to go ahead and make another one while we're at it. You know, I made a few of these. And I am just punching it wherever I want just to get the top. If you want it in the center, then punch it down further and then you can just cut it down. Kind of line it up with the half. And do this uh, if you have you know like um, tabs that you can make or a punch then you could do that if you don't have tabs or a punch think about punching out circles and put two circles kind of sandwich them together and um, on the page you can just have a square page sandwich the circles together and that could be a tab so there's all kinds of ways to make your tabs. So that's that. 
I want to go ahead and punch my hole because we are going to do some sewing. So I just want to make sure I don't like cover up my hole. So I'm just punching it down on the lower part. And then I'm going to go ahead and decorate them. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just going to use some Distress Ink because I want um, I want these to kind of be distressed and mainly I am just doing the base and you know just as much or as little as I want to do for the base and then when I pull them out of my ephemera stash I can um, <coughs> excuse me I can add more if I want to you know kind of, you know, if you have like a generic base, then it's so much simpler just to add whatever you want to at the time, but, you know, kind of maybe do a um, assembly line, and you can get these out pretty easy. Now, you may have noticed that some of them might have, are taller, some of them are shorter, and the reason for that is these were cut off. And I just kind of kept them, you know, instead of cutting this one down, you could cut it however you want to. But I was okay with the sizes. So I don't end up with more scraps. <laughs> so what I want to do now is kind of go through some of my scraps. You know, I've had my scraps out here for the last couple of days. So that I can kind of... Uh, do some decoration and just do a bunch of ephemera this week. So I kind of like that. I'm just going to kind of cut that there. I don't want to use it for both of them because I do. Sorry, here's my guy. Here's my cubster. Daddy's napping right now. And <laughs> Cubby thinks he needs attention. Hi, Bubba. Hey, Bubba. You gotta say hi. If you like her, you gotta say hi. <laughs> Look at this cute face, guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can just move this for you. Look at this cute face. Who could say no to this? There he is. <laughs> you gonna look up? Look up. Show people. This little guy is two years old. Isn't he a sweetheart? He is mama's boy and he always wants attention. So, for those of you who are looking for the cat, here he is. <laughs> I'm going to set him aside. Maybe he'll lay behind me while I finish this. So, um, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you know by now that I have multiple cats. We have seven inside ones. Yes, we have a house full. <laughs> Baba. Mm. Baba, what are you doing? Sometimes you just have to stop and pet the cat. If you guys have critters, then you kind of know that. It's just the way it goes. So I want some music paper on this. And, you know, I have punched out tons of just music pieces and things like that um, a while back. And I'm trying to use some of that stuff up because it's just kind of sitting there like I've kind of forgotten about it. And he's asleep. Let's see if I can kind of work around him. <laughs> One of my sweet subbies says, Oh, I just keep looking for the critters. <laughs> so this is for you. <laughs> so, and right now I am just inking up my um, thing. I just want, you know, to kind of bring down some color a little bit. And I think I'm going to just glue that down and kind of cut that down as soon as I find my glue that my cat 
has probably knocked down. <laughs> when he wants love, he gets pretty demanding. <laughs> Bubba, you're not helping, sweetie. This is Cubby. When we, we have two black cats, and they look like little bears, so when we got them, we named one of them Cubby, and I told my husband, I don't know what to name the other one, because, you know, you have a Cubby, and <laughs> so what, I, what he did, actually, he named the other one, and his name is Little Bear, so we have both of them look like little bears and that's their names and we rescued these guys these guys were outside and in a bad thunderstorm I was actually making videos and heard them crying so they were napping I've been making you know some videos today and the guys were napping but Sooner or later, they start missing us, and they want attention. So, now I'm just cutting it. I don't want it to cover up my um, hole. You could certainly cover it and punch it again if you wanted to. I just kind of want it focused right there in the center. But you certainly don't have to do that. You could round corners if you wanted to. I think I like that lace. I really like it because it's see-through and I can see my I can see my uh, music paper. I will put some stitching on this because I do like bless you. I do like some um, sewing machine. So I will go ahead and sew this using some brown thread. I figured my pink was, I really needed to change that <laughs> because most of the, you know, ones I've been doing is more of a uh, kind of vintage look, more of a uh, generic look. So I'm just having fun, just kind of playing. My stash is filling up. And, you know, I'm not sure how many, how long this video will actually go. I think I have a lot more than just five videos to show you guys. So I think I have at least eight. So I'm not sure if I'll do any on the weekend as I'm trying to keep, you know, my weekends for getting caught up on my videos and paperwork doing whatever I need to do so I really like that and let's go ahead and work on this one a little bit I kind of want some pink here's just some odds and ends that I have in here and when I find things you know I go through some drawers or something and I find some things and I think oh I'll stick that in the container so you know I end up with more than I probably need so I have an idea you know it doesn't bother me I like to kind of make things uh, you know different so that no matter what kind of journal I am currently working on I can kind of um, actually I can uh, you know pull something out hopefully out of my stash so I'm just kind of messing around right now and doing whatever I feel like I want to do right now just so that when I do pull out later you know I may never do a <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to pull this make it lay flatter but I may never use this but more than likely I will especially if I already have it made you know this would be really cute for a garden journal and as I've said before I kind of have a couple of garden journals in my mind so this might come in handy like that 
and I'm just kind of putting that there and then I'm going to put this eyelet. This eyelet came in a box of stuff that my um, husband got. He got one of those treadle machines, a really nice one for Christmas. And a bunch of the stuff was in there, including this eyelet, a bunch of thread, some old buttons, things like that. So I want to take advantage of this here just because I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a little bit. I'm going to look at this and just see if there's anything right off the bat that I want to go ahead and add that I want to make sure that it kind of maybe gets stitching on it or anything like that. Again, this is move some stuff. Bubba ran away, so probably went to a much quieter <laughs> spot in the house. But um, again, these are some pieces that I have kind of had in my stash. I've got a whole bunch of dies. I think they're Tim Holtz dies. And so I made a whole bunch of sorry, Bubba it is really shedding made a whole bunch of you know like cutouts and stuff that I've had in my stash and I really just want to use a bunch of them up so I'm just gonna do some banners and maybe put them like that or like that Ooh, I do like that I think I'll go ahead and put like three. Here's some coffee dyed material, material paper that I have here. And I'm just going to make a little banner out of this as well. Because what we're doing right now is we're just using up scraps. there maybe one here and if you know me at all I love to put things in um, increments of three so let's see what else I have over here Ooh, this would work here's another little cutoff about the right size I just kind of estimate my <laughs> dovetails and if they don't look right to me, then I go back and work on them until they're right. Until I feel comfortable or feel okay with them. So the reason I want these is because I want them in... <coughs> uh, I want to put sewing down them. I think I'm going to put a sewing line here, just a straight line here. As well as one down here. But for sure on the top, I'm going to see how I want these. And I will let this dry just a bit before I sew it. Dark glitter glue does not take that long to dry, so it doesn't bother me too much. And I'm going to put that here. So you can decorate these as little or as much as you want. You know, I mean, it's your project, so kind of do whatever you want to do okay so I like that I'm gonna call it okay as far as uh, sewing I'm gonna let that dry for just a minute I'm gonna kind of look at this one see what I want to put here so I don't want to put anything of bulk right now because it will be going through the sewing machine first so I'm just kind of looking to see what I have this was just in my bunch of <laughs> junk things that I have no idea where it came from. <laughs> I'm just kind of looking through anything that I have in my stash, you know, little bits, odds and ends, things like that. I think I like that, and I even like that it kind of uh, comes off the edge. That's not going to bother me because I will, mostly I will be putting these in my, um, in the middle of pages. 
because I do have the little hangs. I'm going to make those while this is kind of drying because again I don't want to gunk up my sewing machine too badly. <laughs> I just like this. I think that's really cute. I don't know what it is. It looks kind of like a J. Okay, so set those aside to dry and meanwhile we're going to work on just some little word uh, dangles I guess and I saw you know the word dangles again on Pinterest and I just thought they were really cute and again that's what inspired these um, I want to cut these down I think they're just a little bit less than half an inch but you could certainly do whatever you want to do and then I am just cutting them in different lengths so that I have some interest on my page you know so do three I do like the three um, I don't know if you guys noticed when I showed my other ones they were some of them had one on them because I do like you know the um, odd sizes I mean the odd numbers and stuff like that so let me clean up a little bit of this stuff sorry hair everywhere <laughs> wonder if it's I don't think it's starting to warm up but man they're shedding right now okay so I, again I am going to use some of this this is just some stuff I had in my stash that I cut out and since I haven't really used it I'm gonna use it now I'm just gonna kind of rip it I like the jagged edge and then like this one I'm just gonna put my uh, ink stain on it my distress ink because I do like that look I just feel like it gives it, you know, a good look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use some of the really straight edges. Again, that does not bother me. Too bad. <laughs> Sometimes it does. But here with this, um, I'm going to put words on them, Tim Holtz words. <clears throat> and so it really doesn't bother me too much because I can cover that straight edge up if I want to. So I'm just going to do just a little line of glue and stick that on. And the same thing here. My fingers get all gluey. You know, I've been making some earlier today and they're so gluey. <laughs> Put that one on. And because they're colored with the distress ink, this makes for a mess. But you gotta get messy when you're crafting. Okay. Let's do that right there. I kind of like projects that you know don't take a lot of time and that's more just you know enjoyable and come together quickly I really like that because you know especially ephemera it seems to take forever especially you know like when you're putting together a journal it just seems to take a while so I'm gonna stick this one over here it's a little bit And then I'm going to go around each of these and you know I'm doing three for each of my journals or not journals but three for each of my uh, belly bands this time so it's just kind of nice to have them ready to go and you know when you're picking out your words I'm going to use Tim Holtz uh, small chat words I think and um, 
it's just nice to have them ready to go and you know pull out all the words at one time okay so I think that part is completed so I'm gonna grab my small words and I kind of like to just lay these out because I'm you know I don't have any plan of the words I want to use I just want words that will fit across and ones that of course that I like and let me show you <clears throat> so like here's one that says live your life I like that one I just kind of measure it up and see which one it will fit the best and I think it'll fit that one so I'm just going to grab live your life so I'm just kind of putting inspirational ones on these you know you could you know quit where you are here and then add the little tags later if you wanted to but I'm just decorating them now and I'm kind of putting it down a little bit further leaving a little place on the top for a hole so you just want to make sure that you have it going the way you want it to so your hole you know it reads correctly because if you put it on upside down which would be fine but you know you just want to make sure you're doing it the way you want to um let's see let's see what else i just kind of go and just see what sorry see what would fit you know i like here's one life is good that one will fit that little guy I like the word and I'm putting that on there some of my tags I just noticed are kind of narrow so you don't really see the music but see my goopy hands so life is good is going here so I have those two uh, I'm going to just kind of see what else I did the first ones from the other page but I thought it'd be kind of fun to just kind of play with these here's a come what may and you know if you don't have words you could um, think and you could type them up you could hand write them you know there's digitals that have words in them but this is so simple you know just kind of like I said you know do it quick and easy um here's I like that saying it is called said um, find joy in the ordinary that would go pretty much probably with any journal that I decide to make you know it's just a nice saying And, you know, you could leave the um, music paper off. I just like to stack up, kind of layer my ephemera, my, <coughs> my pieces. I like that. Um, what about this one? That one's cute. Embrace beautiful chaos. <laughs> I like that. They're good little things to remember, you know. <laughs> and they're really sticky. I just like to put a little bit of glue just to make sure it doesn't, you know, come apart. See that one? You can barely see the, the stamp, but if you guys hear that, chaos outside it is cats fighting I like to be sure and tell you guys because I've had somebody mention that um, they were concerned about our kids fighting or kids crying in the background and it was our goats and chickens so if 
there's something odd going on in the background because we do live on a farm. I like to mention that just so you guys don't think, you know, we're having issues here. <laughs> but sometimes we do. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this. I like to have the, uh, the top part. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this is just some manila file folder. So you can use um, cardstock. I think something that's a little bit more sturdy is better for this. But you know, just play around and figure out what works for you. So I'm going to put some of this stuff aside. Pull out my sewing machine just a bit. Sorry, my foot pedal is way across the room. Forgot to get that set up. And then I am going to sew um, on here. I'm just going to do, I think I'm going to just do a straight stitch. And I'm just going to start here and kind of sew across, stopping right here at the hole. And that's just my preference. You know, you can do it however you want to. Mainly, I want to catch the pink as well as the eyelet. And I love the look of sewing. So that's why I'm doing this step. You can totally leave it off if you want to. And I made sure, and I did these on cardstock, so it's just leftover cardstock pieces that, you know, you can, I have in my stash. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Oops. Put that one aside. I'm going to, I think I'm going to use a zigzag on this one just because I can, and I think I'd like that. And I'm just going to do it right here on the top. And I'll stop over here. I just want to make sure I get those um, banners in here, you know, in the sewing. to the hole, but that is not a problem. Okay. Again, you could totally, you know, cover that hole up and um, do whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, now I need my eyelets, which I stuck over here. And these are the perfect size eyelets. I just got, have to figure out what size they are. But for my uh, squeeze tool and everything and the hole punch, these fit perfectly in here. I'm just going to choose a gold one and a silver one. You know, you can use whatever color you want. I'm going to put the gold one here. But I really like that dress. I'm going to trim this. But I love this. I think it's so much fun. And when I'm looking for something fun to put in my books, you know, I'll have quite a few of these made. So I just squished it down. And I'm using another one here. Probably should have put gold here because there is gold in the pink, but I'm okay with that. I like to mix and match. And these are just some eyelet pliers that were in my, um, something I picked up at a yard sale last year. And I love these things. <laughs> I try to keep them close by because nothing else I have works with them. Okay, so now I am going to, let's see, I have some charms or a charm. 
I'm going to see what else I want to add to these as well as get these things up. So, and by hung up, I mean hung on, I guess. So I'm going to use a gold one for the gold and a silver one for the silver. And I'm running out of silver ones. So I may have to place an order with Denise. I did get these from Denise at A Tattered Dream. And my hole punch. I'm using, it's just a really tiny, a, an eighth of an inch hole punch. I just wanted to use a small one. And I'm just aiming for the center. I'm just kind of guessing. <laughs> guessing. Sometimes it doesn't quite end up in the center, but I'm trying for the center. But I like this hole punch because it is tiny and your papers, you know, are less than half an inch. So, it's a good size. <clears throat> but you can do whatever you want. <laughs> and this one, that was a little off, but I'm okay with that. And then I'm going to put these in groups of three. So I just kind of put pick my words and then see what, you know, comes <laughs> comes up. So live your life, find joy in the ordinary. I know these are going to be separate because I want two long ones, two medium, and two small. So I think we'll do those. This one is embrace beautiful chaos, cultivate kindness. Come what may, this one is find joy in the ordinary, live your life, and life is good. And those, I think, work really well. I had a, lost it. Let's see what I have here, actually. I'm just going to pull out a couple of charms. I think I'm going to pull out doves for both of them. I love doves, and there's two right there. That works out pretty well. So when I put these together, I want—I know I want the top, the smaller part, kind of will wrap around my eyelet, which means whatever is there will, because um, it'll be like this. So I want to make sure that my words are on this, so, you know, in the correct way. So I'm just going to put these on here. They are long, but you can do, you know, them longer or shorter. I like them this way because I am going to put them most likely in the middle of a page. You know, if you didn't like them this way, you could certainly um, make them smaller, of course, or, you know, do a different way. And I think that is so cute not quite done here but we'll come back to that okay so let's go ahead and do this other one again I just want to make sure that they're gonna lay correctly when I'm done and I put the longest one on the back so they're kind of layered to the short and then throw my dove on there some of the other ones I put keys and I'll show you those again and then I feel like I want to go ahead and add just a little something else to these. You don't have to do that now. You could totally just stop and, you know, stick them in your stash. And then when you come back, you could, you know, add something later. So, you know, it's just whatever you want to do, how far you want to go. If you have time to make ephemera, if you don't, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's see. I liked this, and I was thinking like a big pink button. You know, I try not to add a whole lot of, or a flower, a whole lot of um, bulk, especially like to belly bands and stuff. But anything I put here, you know, would, um, and if I want to write something, I can pull it out. Maybe it won't bother, you know, me too much or whoever I end up giving it to. So I'm just kind of looking again through my stash just to see what I have here that maybe I want to use. So these are a whole bunch of die cuts that have been, you know, kind of cut down. 
going to try these just to see. I'm going to take back the the uh, color as soon as I find my using some distress ink. And I lost my ink blender, so that's what I'm looking for now. Oh, it's right here in front of me. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, bring back the color, drop it back a little bit because this is like a hot pink and I don't really want, you know, that bright of a color. And just by distress inking around, it kind of mutes it a lot. So I just have these. These are die cuts. Again, I just, you know, did a whole bunch when I was making cards. And I have these in my stash. I think I'm just going to go ahead and glue these down. And I like to wait until I get the sewing done to glue anything, you know, else down that has bulk for sure. So, I'll put that there. And then I'm going to call this one done. You know, it has enough stuff. If I wanted to, I could use it exactly like it is. If not, and I come back to it and want to add something else, I can. So I still feel like I need something here. Let's see, do I want to add? I don't know if I want to go a flower, though. Oops. <laughs> I tell you guys. Oh been fun. <laughs> I don't think I want to add a flower, but I have been thinking about something, you know, some kind of uh, collage type thing. I just haven't really figured out what I want to do, but I do like this one for sure. I really like that. You know, this is just one I had cut out. What I did is I just pulled any die cuts that I had in the bedroom, in my craft room. I just went ahead and pulled them out. So I can use that for this. And I think I'm going to just do that. And, you know, like I said previously, if I want to add more at a later time, I can. I just felt like, you know, the back needed... The background needed just a little something else. And I think that turned out so cool. I love these. These are so fun. So let me show you the ones I've made. This one has the dove, life is good, live your life, and find joy in the ordinary. This one has the dove, uh, come what may, cultivate kindness, embrace beautiful chaos. <laughs> Those worked out so well. <laughs> okay, let me show you the ones that I made before I started the video. I think I have four more. I have this one. And I would probably add something else to this. But you never know, it might work perfectly for what I'm doing. I put like a metal book corner, just a flat one. I have tons of these in my sash. And I thought that went really well. Um, I just had a charm. It's, I don't know what that is, a guitar or a um, violin or something. I don't know. Be amazed, choose to shine, and have an open heart. So I like that. This one, I had some more corners that I put on that were silver. This one has like a little... Um, four leaf clover and it says make it happen and then this one I'll probably put a button or something here I think those little teeny tiny buttons in the center of each one of these would finish this off beautifully this one has a key that has kind of like a heart and this one says be brave stay strong and great things take time which I love those and then I did this one it's a little bit different color but, you know, sometimes you just want color. <laughs> so this one only has one on there. There's a key and it says, everything has beauty. And I thought that was perfect for the flowers and stuff like that. 
And again, let me show you real quick how I would go about using these. I would just stick these in the center of a page for a um, belly band. So I would put glue here and glue here. Or if you wanted to and you were careful about you know going over the eyelet, you could sew those on your page before you put together your embellishment. And I make these again at about five inches. Let's see by one, two, three almost um, three and three quarters is this one and I would do this as a belly band just because my little dangles dangly words are so long you know you could bring it down a little bit if you wanted to you could do it whatever you want you could put just charms on them and then use it as a little pocket whatever you want to do let's see this one but most likely I'll probably use these as belly bands just because I love this you know image and if you look at things on Pinterest more than likely you'll see where I came up with this idea it was again it was on a um, I think it was like a tag and they had these words kind of hanging on there so definitely Pinterest inspired which a lot of my things are so thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me and I can't wait to put these in my stash. And as soon as you know I'm done with this series, I'm going to show you how I organize all these guys. So if you haven't already, be sure and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day.